Do you know what's in Jannah? Oh, beautiful man. It's too sweet. Alhamdulillah. The Quran says something amazing. In it is whatever your soul desires, whatever you wish is yours. Now, you know, when you enter, for example, a place and you're given a whole lot of money and you're spending, you start getting worried that, hey, my money might finish, even if you had millions. You know, when you start blowing this way and that way and doing whatever you want and becoming a big, like, you know, man who's just dishing out as though he's got everything in the world to give. There comes a time when you think, how long will this last? No matter how wealthy you are, you think to yourself, how long will this last? You know what Allah says? Allah says, you will get whatever you desire and whatever is tasty to your eyes. Normally we taste with the tongue. Allah says, whatever is delicious to the eye, You'll have it and you will be in Jannah forever and ever eternity. So it's not going to stop. It only gets better. Subhanallah. It only gets better. And there are these rivers of honey, pure honey and rivers of pure milk. Subhanallah, the milk that doesn't go bad. And there's pure Subhanallah rivers of water and rivers of fruit juice of whatever I want. And it's all there. And I own it and it's mine. And this everything I see belongs to me. Allah says Jannah has in it something that is far greater and bigger than each person's singular paradise, singular garden. You know, Jannah means a garden. Your own garden will be bigger than 10 times the size of the entire creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala currently, meaning the earth and the heavens and whatever is between it. 10 times more than that. That's if you're the worst person and the last one to enter Jannah. Imagine if you're not. I'm, I, I'm either the last one or I'm either better than the last one. So Allah's talking about the worst one. Worst one, well, this is what you get. Everything on earth and in the heavens and whatever is between. And you know what? Multiply it by 10 times. And that's mine. Obviously here we're talking of the dunya that we know. Okay. Multiplied by 10. The dunya we know multiplied by 10. It's for the worst person, the last one to enter Jannah. Wow. I'm waiting for that day, inshallah. I'm waiting for that day. And the hadith says, Fiha ma la aynun ra'at, wa la udunun sami'at, wa la khatara ala qalbi bashar. When I read this, I have to sit and think, and I think, and I smile to myself. Sometimes it makes me blush too, mashallah. Do you know what it says? In Jannah is something your eyes have never seen. So I sit and I think to myself, that means if I've seen something with my eyes, it does not qualify to go into Jannah. That's it. It does not qualify to go into Jannah as it is. Oh, women must be happy. Oh, that's nice because I seen my husband. <laughs> Do you know what that means? He just said, whatever you've seen is not going to be there. Whatever you've seen is definitely not going to be there the way you've seen it. It will be in a perfect form that will be mind boggling. And you'll be like, ooh, wow, my husband, ooh, subhanallah. <laughs> Mashallah, this is why we say wait and get there, get there. And you'll see what Allah's kept for you is something mind boggling. Really, our brains are not qualified to imagine what's in Jannah to the level of it in Jannah. But we are asked to look into it in order to try and Go towards it and work towards it. La aynun ra'at. No eye has ever seen. Wala udunun sami'at. That would mean two things. No ear has ever heard. That can mean, it could mean the sound as well, as well as any description that you might have heard. Say we're sitting and we're talking of something. And you've heard me saying it and I've heard you say it. Guess what? It won't be in Jannah. Because in Jannah is going to be something better than that. Far better in terms of quality. So you might have oranges perhaps in Jannah, but they won't be oranges that you've seen here or heard of here. It's something totally different, mind boggling. Get there and see. And then you will say, yes, indeed, Allah has fulfilled his promise. So neither the eyes have ever seen. What have you seen? I, I've seen some really lovely things on earth. 
I've seen some really, really lovely things on earth. And we've seen so much. Guess what? You, nothing on earth is qualified to go into Jannah. Because it's created for the earth. The body you have here and now is very, very earthly. Does not qualify to get into Jannah as this body. You will be given a perfect body by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So perfect that it's unimaginable. Unimaginable. You don't need to sweat on the treadmill just to lose two kilos. Not at all. Nothing. You need to think about it and there's your shape. Wow. You need to think about it and it starts changing. You know, they say apple shape and pear shape and whatever else. Subhanallah. All that will be forgotten because that would need something else completely. Just imagine. And then you have the hadith ending by saying, Wala khatara ala qalbi bashar. It has not even crossed the heart of a human. And you can even say the mind of a human. It didn't even cross your mind. It didn't even cross your heart. When you see it, you're going to say, I never, ever seen something like this. I've never heard of something like this. I've never, ever dreamt of something like this. And I never thought that this is what they would be. Now, come on. Wouldn't we like to go there? Subhanallah. Wouldn't you like to be with your husbands, inshallah? Wouldn't you like to be with your wives, alhamdulillah? Yes, we would. Because when you see your, your spouse, you're going to say, <laughs> I never ever imagined in the wildest of my dreams that this is what you're gonna look like. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, subhanallah. How exciting! I told you it makes us blush sometimes. Wow, I'm excited. I can't wait, subhanallah. I really can't wait to get there by the will of Allah.